What's the best thing about being Robert Redford? Probably the best thing is that whatever power it gives you, and you were talking about Robert Redford as persona, we're not talking mm -hmm. about Bob. Mm -hmm. Because Bob's. I'll ask you about Bob in a minute. Guy. Bob's another guy. We'll ask about Bob in a minute. But about being with. Robert Redford, this name on the marquee. It brings you, it's got a big downside to it, but one of the upsides is that it gives you the kind of power to do the things you want to do in your life. And you're doing those things. I'm doing them. Making movies, acting in movies. Let's look beyond and behind the marquee at Bob. What's good about Boring. Bob? Oh, come on. Boring, boring guy. Come on. No, that, that's the guy I'm most comfortable with because that's, that's, the, that's the fellow that can learn new things. It's kind of hard to observe people. I mean, I love observing people. That's how I started in life as an artist. I, I, I gained a lot of um, experience just by watching people because I used to draw them or sketch them or write about them. In uh, 30, 40, 50 years from now, may it be 50 years when you pass, what do you want your tombstone to say? What do you want to be remembered most for? Uh, re remembered for? Yeah. Uh, Making movies? Fostering new talents through, through Sundance? You know, I don't know the answer to that. I honestly don't know. I've never thought about it. I've never thought about wanting, never thought about a tombstone. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I don't know. He had potential. I don't know. What do you, what do you want?